All month long, we have been introducing you to some incredible women right here in Northeast Ohio for Women's History Month. And today, we're also meeting our latest game changer who certainly fits that bill, Tammy Tucker. Back on December 1st of last year, Akron Mayor Dan Horgan announced her appointment as the city's first director of diversity, equity, and inclusion. I didn't recognize the, the historic nature of this position. One of my colleagues had to say that. She was like, Tammy, you're making history. This is spot on what Game Changers is all about. To be the first um, director of diversity, equity, and inclusion for city government is, is huge. It's a role of major importance in Akron, implementing the city's racial equity and social justice strategic plan along with building equity through community relationships. This role had to be created to look at how equitable our practices and to, to look at how we can do better um, uh, within local government to make sure that every resident we serve is getting the same treatment. In 2020, the city of Akron established a task force in response to declaring racism a public health crisis. And in March of 2022, Akron Racial Equity Task Force released a five-year plan just three months later, Jalen Walker was killed by Akron police. Tucker started work five months later. When we look back one day, you're going to look back at Jalen Walker and that incident as the moment where change had to happen or did happen? I believe so. Um, there are a lot of bright minds here at, um, at the um, city of Akron who are being very proactive in looking at that. So we, we continue to just pull everything that we can from what's happening in the world to make sure we're, we're applying it in our situation um, as best we can. Tucker believes the city's new Citizens Police Review Board will make a difference leading to change and sees her role as pivotal to help officers and citizens find mutual respect. I had a great um, conversation with the chief of police when I first started. We are very open and honest with each other around um, the difficulties of policing. I'm really looking forward to, to working with the chief and in, in implementing some of the things that we come up with and then seeing the, the change it will make. Tucker's long career in civil service makes her ideal for this role. She's worked for welfare reform and in higher ed, most recently serving as the director of diversity and inclusion the Ohio State University's College of Medicine. I get to create the blueprint. I'm excited to come to work every day um, to, to see how we can make it happen. She seems to have always made it happen. One of eight children raised by a single mom right here in Cleveland, she went on to become the first college grad in her family, earning her degree at Central State University, where she later worked. I grew up in the Huff neighborhood. Um, as a kid, I didn't know Huff was famous for its civil rights and the Huff riots. We were just living there. But that historic place, that place that still exists, um, again, was the backbone of who I am. Her family and her faith ground her, and she loves to cook, read, and play tennis. But it's her talent for poetry that truly speaks to her heart and shows the connection to her life's work. Now let me tell you what I feel when the word black is mentioned. I feel the chain of injustice losing its length. I feel peace around me when I sleep. And I don't in any way feel sad, divided, worthless, or weak. The only thing I feel when the word black is mentioned is love. And Tucker feels they are on the right track to make change already in her first four months on the job. How long will it take? Well, that depends on how committed the city is. But she mentioned multiple times that support comes from the very top. Mayor Horrigan wants it to happen. But remember, Horrigan is on his way out. So she said, if you want your city to succeed, you have to think about DEI. An incredible woman. So glad to introduce you all to her. She's so excited to be back home. One of her daughters lives in the Cleveland area, obviously uh, from here. And I put her on the spot right there when she told me about the poetry and I asked her if she could give me an example and she ripped off about four minutes worth. Like oh my just gosh. from start to finish. We can only show you part of it there, right. right? But it was incredible. I mean, I was blown away. Fascinating woman. I mean, clearly. Through that interview, we get an idea of just how highly intelligent she yes. is, and she just seems to be the perfect fit for for that role. 
in a city that has been trying to make the mm -hmm. big changes and we've been covering that and, and showing the committees and and the efforts that they're making post Jalen Walker. So hopefully she can be that leader because yeah. she really seems like she has it. Oftentimes you hear about a plan, but the plan doesn't, you know, right. get wheels and start moving, but you certainly see it happening. Yeah, here. they're making that huge effort. Yeah. It's amazing. It yep. really is.